All right, this massacre now turning into a war is another foreign policy disaster for Joe Biden. I want to bring in senior national security analyst Rick Grinnell, director of national intelligence under former President Trump. Rick, good to have you on again. I want to talk about the $6 billion. Uh, it's, it's been a big talker this week. A month after unfreezing the money, we get this horrible attack, clearly an attack that was supported by Iran at some level. What do you make of, of this moment for, for the Biden White House, who has just a terrible team dealing with Iran? Well, first of all, we can look at what Bloomberg was reporting in August, is that the Biden administration was very proud of the thaw in relations with Iran. We've seen $80 billion in increased oil exports for Iran. They're making a ton of money because the Biden administration has decided to look the other way compared to what the Trump administration did on squeezing them on sanctions, particularly oil sanctions. So if you just look at what's happening last August, Iran is flush with cash. They're getting even more oil sales. They're feeling emboldened. And then the Biden administration comes forward and says, you know what, we're going to pay for food, medicine, and diapers. We're going to give you $6 billion in credit to pay for all of that. As every family knows, if you all of a sudden get a big gift that someone's going to pay your mortgage, your food, and everything else, you're going to go on vacation. You're going to do something that was unexpected. You're going to do something that was unplanned because you didn't have the money. Money is fungible. Yeah. And what we've seen now is the Biden administration is the last group of people to understand that money is fungible. And they're now starting to say, oh, maybe we should do this freeze on that $6 billion since they launched a war. Maybe we should do this pause. But, you know, Rob, what really drives me crazy is that the entire media in D.C. are celebrating this quiet pause of not giving Iran the $6 billion without a wink from the Biden team, and they're not ready to wink yet. That's kind of what they're telling us. After spending the last week literally denying that the six billion dollars was going to be fungible it's, money anyway. yeah and and because as we always talk about we have no real press corps in washington uh it, this kind of incompetence is relatively unscathed uh, for the white house they don't take a lot of heat for it because uh, n- nobody's really looking at them that hard robert malley been removed under investigation uh, oversight looking into the dealings uh, with iran uh it, it's a real scandal um for them and it's a real just glaring evidence of their incompetence. And I want to know, do you, do you think that the Iran nuclear deal is, is officially dead now? Oh, it better be dead. We're not going to do any more deals with Iran after this. I mean, l- let's yeah. hope not. But here's the problem as you're, as you're talking about this. Let's explain for our viewers that there are political appointees that every administration gets to make. In the Trump administration, they made me a political appointee. The Biden administration has now been caught with multiple people who have been literally emailing the regime in Iran, asking them to approve different points, asking them, what do you think of this speaking engagement, working with the radical regime in Iran, while a political appointee of Joe Biden at the State Department and at the Department of Defense. What is happening in Washington where Literally, to be treasonous, treasonous, you get a political appointment from the Biden team. Where is our senators and our House members? This is a scandal, as well as the border. We could go on a, a, again at what's happening at the border. We know there are terrorists coming through the border because the government is admitting that they have captured like more than 100 at the border. But what concerns me is they're also admitting that 1.2 million people at the border were not captured and are now in our country. That's only what the government is admitting. Everybody knows that number is way higher. How many of the 1.2 million are terrorists? Take 0.1% of the 1.2 million illegal people in this country coming in. That's 1,200 terrorists. If you just do one. We, we, have a, we have a government that's trying to pick up a gun and put it to our heads and blow our brains out. That's the way we're operating as a government. Or distract now. you with it's, abortion, abortion, yeah. abortion, abortion. Yeah. Look over there. Yeah. While they dismantle everything. For, for what reason? I don't know. Why anybody would want to do this to their own country? I can't figure that out. Rick Grinnell, um, thank you so much.